Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma is a retinal tumor. It is the most common primary ocular malignancy of childhood. It is caused by mutation in long arm of chromosome 13 which codes for RB1 gene which is a tumor suppressor gene. It affects precursor cells that form inner and outer retinal cells leading to their malignant transformation. Let us see about the genetics of retinoblastoma. The mode of inheritance may be heritable that is germline mutation or non-heritable that is somatic mutation. In heritable mutation, one allele of RB1 gene is mutated in all cells of the body. A second hit affects second allele leading to malignant transformation. These patients are predisposed to non-ocular tumors such as pineoloma that is trilateral retinoblastoma, osteosarcoma and malignancies of brain and lung. Let us see about the presentation of retinoblastoma. Bilateral cases usually present around 1 year of age. Unilateral cases present around 2 years of age. The signs and symptoms include leukocoria that is white pupillary reflex or cat's eye reflex. This picture shows a patient with leukocoria. Other signs and symptoms include strabismus, secondary glaucoma, proptosis and inflammation secondary to tumor necrosis. Retinoblastoma can mimic uveitis in children. Ocular examination by scleral indentation shows a white mask with calcification. This picture shows the fundal photograph of a patient with retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma may be intraretinal or an endophytic tumor projecting and seeding into vitreous or it may be exophytic with a subretinal mass and overlying retinal detachment. Histopathology of retinoblastoma shows flexner intestinal rosettes, homerite rosettes and fluorets. This picture shows flexner intestinal rosettes. Now let us see about the investigations done for a case of retinoblastoma. Ultrasonography and CT should be done to assess tumor size and calcification. MRI can be done to visualize optic nerve, extraocular extension and pineoloblastoma. Let us see about the treatment of retinoblastoma. Primary enucleation can be done for unilateral cases with advanced disease and large tumors, for long-standing retinal detachments, neovascular glaucoma or suspicion of optic nerve invasion or extrascleral extension. Primary enucleation is also done in bilateral cases for more advanced eye. Other modalities of treatment for retinoblastoma include photocoagulation, chemotherapy which is done prior to other treatment modalities to decrease size of tumor or in patients with systemic metastasis. Transpupillary thermotherapy, cryotherapy for small tumors, external beam radiotherapy that is EBRT and plaque brachytherapy for medium sized tumors. EBRT is associated with development of non-ocular tumors in irradiated field. This picture shows retinal scan of a patient with retinoblastoma. This is before chemotherapy and this is after chemotherapy. Again, this is before chemotherapy and this is after chemotherapy. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.